Hello and welcome. This is part two of the setting up your Raspberry Pi for Windows development. The next step is to get Visual Studios ready for all of your app making. So, here is the fun process that you get to set up because you are running a development build of Windows 10. The first thing we will have to do is we will have to change the install on the Visual Studios 2015 so that we can get all of our tools ready for app development and then the thing after that is we need to set it to development mode which requires some registry editing but it's pretty easy stuff once you know what you're actually doing so I will put a link in the description if you just need to skip to development mode because it's kind of funky. And we will start out with Visual Studios. So, to begin, you're going to go to the control panel. You're going to go to program and features. You're going to search Visual Studios. Find your Visual Studios 2015. Right click it hit change and this will get you to the installer you will click modify and you will see the universal windows app development tools you will select it and hit update i believe it is an extra six gigabytes so uh, you will have to download that six gigabytes of content and then it'll install it but it's a pretty simple process anyways the next thing that we need to do is we need to edit the registry to enable development mode and you may or may not have hit this problem. Um, what it will do is when you're trying to use the visual designer for C sharp because it's an object oriented language meaning you can bind your code to the objects like buttons and stuff like that much more easily than other languages it won't actually show you a physical preview of the code that you have or allow you to use the visual edi editor and instead you will have to use the straight code editor which is possible but not very pleasant to work with unless you know what you're doing so first thing you need to do is open reg edit you will hit OK to the uh, permission command prompt thing and then you will go into H key local machine I will stick this in the description so you don't have to follow along if you're not fast enough or if I'm going too fast software Microsoft Windows current version and then under current version there should be app model unlock which will be right Microsoft Windows current version okay so underneath current version you should find app model unlock which is right here only Windows 8 will have it or not Windows 8 only Windows 10 will have it. If you are running Windows 7, you will not see this folder, and I do not believe it will work. And Windows 8, I'm not sure about, but I would guess it'd be the same. So, when you get here, you should see either... If there's no folder here, you can create it simply by right-clicking new... I want to say key. And if you enter a new key, you can enter app model unlock and if you do have it it will look like this and it'll just be empty and what you will have to do is you will have to add two d word strings to this so the first was hit new d word you will enter this text allow all trusted apps and then you will double click it and set it to 1. And then we need to edit one more thing. Which is 
D word. Allow development without dev license because Windows is doing away with a development license, which might be pretty cool. And that should be all you need to do. If we go into Visual Studios and check this out, we should be able to go new project. Now we will have Windows Universal stuff, which will make it able to program for the Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi. And we'll just do test. Um, it appears I probably already have a test, so we'll do test 2. Create the test 2, that's nice. We will go into mainpage.xaml, which should be the visual screen. And then you'll see designer require a certain permission that can be set. Would you like to fix this? Yes. You will let it do what it needs to do. And then if all goes well, boom, you have your designer just what you need you can grab yourself a button stick it in there use a the solution properties to rename it and everything should be working as it's supposed to which will make the next step of actually programming much easier if you enjoyed the video be sure to like or leave a comment if you have any questions about it and if you want to support the channel be sure to subscribe thanks for watching